Hello and welcome to another episode of iDraw. You watch the weekly show where I ramble a bunch of nonsense over the top of me drawing one of my strips, which you can find in the descriptions below, along with all the other information about my site. Uh, this strip was, this was one of those ones where I was, um, it was one of those brain fart moments of one of my friends when we was talking about phones and stuff like that. Um, we was going through like, uh, better phones, uh, better um, features on certain phones, so like what the iPhone does well, what other phones do well. And um, at the same time, uh, someone, or t towards the end of the conversation, someone asked for someone's phone number, and they replied five. And then they said, your phone number is five. And then he said, yeah, no, sorry, 5S. And, that's, and I was like, man, that's a comic. So... Uh, so that's it. Uh, that's how this this uh, comic came about. This one's uh, one of the ones that I, I I did this one because I knew I was going to be drawing it in a certain way because um, I knew the, the you know I didn't want it just to be two talking heads. Uh, so in the first panel you've got Lawrence coming into the frame as if he's like in another room doing something and he needs the phone number so he comes in to get it uh, while Warren's doing something and like I've said before <clears throat> it's it's. Uh, Oftentimes, interesting, more interesting when I'm drawing them, carrying out a task like just a generic task, like whether it's you know doing a barbecue or cleaning a, you know I did a, I did a really good one where I had Warren was just straightening a picture frame, and uh, I did the perspective as if the wall was um, see through, and it was I I really liked it the way it came out. So this one is just doing, um, he's just doing uh, the laundry. Just a simple task, but it just makes a more interesting panel um, rather than just two people standing facing each other at slightly off centered angles, <laughs> like every comic um, since the dawn of time. So, uh, I said weekly at the beginning of this, but they kind of haven't been recently, have they? They've been uh, a little bit less than uh, a little bit less than that because of reasons. Uh, I've basically, I'm basically in an environment at the moment where it's not conducive to recording because there are fucking a thousand people living in the house that I'm living in. So uh, it's very rare that I get ten minutes, let alone half an hour, where I can sit down and and uh, record. Um, so when I do get a moment to do it, I I tend to record one of the playthroughs because uh, you guys seem to be enjoying them. <clears throat> And although I've been recording my drawing, doing the audio for it, uh, it tends to be, you know, a weekly thing where I get the news from that week and sort of draw what I'm going to talk about from that. I also really want to do a sort of live, um, sort of a live recording, like not not like streaming. I mean, although that would be good as well, like to do it through Twitch or the like. Um, but more of a following. I'll probably wait till I've got more of a following to do that. But um, should that day ever come, you never know. It might not. I might have the entire following I'm ever going to get. No. Um, oh, fuck me, that's a depressing thought. No. Uh, what I mean by it is record it while I'm drawing, so that I can specifically talk about the drawing. And that what that episode will be specifically me talking through like what I'm doing, you know, what I'm changing, what I'm thinking while I'm drawing, stuff like that. So, uh, where am I? I'm lost. Uh, what was I going to talk about? Loads has happened. Fuck. Uh, just thousands of things since uh, I last done one. Um, in my personal life, I got a dog, and she is a handful. She's a black Labrador retriever, and she will be fantastically disciplined and a really good companion but at the moment she's a puppy so she's a fucking whirlwind of hurricane of just madness so um, we've just about got her toilet trained to the point where she's not pissing all over the carpets which is good because that was getting old and uh, we're just starting to go through normal normal things with her now but she's um, she's always super excited to see us when we come in and <clears throat> She's really good a lot of the time, but it's just getting those those finer details down, like making sure she doesn't bite and 
make sure she doesn't claw the crap out of everything in sight because like I say I'm not living in my own house at the moment although that will change within the next two weeks hopefully which is excellent and then I'll be in my new home and I'll be able to record this shit out of every day if I wanted to not that I will um, what else happened I started doing the new playthrough the Ripper playthrough ended um, rather successfully and I moved on to Murdered Soul Suspect which is now I think we did episode 7 last week or 6 or five or four? I can't remember. I think I've, I've I think I've edited seven, but four is we're up to four on YouTube, aren't we? Yeah. So five is this week, but I've edited up to seven, and I've recorded up to nine, so we're okay on that. Um, and I'm enjoying it. Uh, it's quite a good game. It's got it's got its nonsense, but it makes for a more amusing playthrough. I'm even laughing at myself which is you know, a sign of madness but whatever I'm even laughing at myself when I'm doing the um, editing um, and we obviously obviously the Thunder Man Death Squad um, playthrough of XCOM Enemy Within ended um, badly so we started again with the Snap Controller Squad Just it's just a little consistency thing we have we have that as the start of the week um, people enjoy it or they seem to so um just going to continue with that and hopefully this time around we can do a little bit better a lot better in fact a lot better i want to see you know at least getting into psychic combat and all that sort of stuff so that's the hope but obviously i need your input so if you are one of the people that does like the XCOM and, and wants to you know suggest a name or or come up with an idea of how best to approach research or base building whatever anything any comments they're always gratefully received um so yeah that's basically what's been going on on the professional front the comic is obviously still going uh four days a week um we're not missing up anything there although i haven't quite got the buffer that i had a few weeks ago again because it's just finding time um because of a where i am and b the dog because she is um she needs her attention like we need to make sure that she's not peeing in places we need to take her out we need to be with her play with her you know feed her yeah, so it's all uh all responsibility in adulthood yay um, and also because my wife is off uh work because she has a big break in the summer because of her that's what her job entails uh, no she's not a teacher but it's a similar sort of thing where she has a massive break in the summer so when I come home I don't particularly want to just come straight in and start drawing because then I'm you know it just seems like I'm ignoring her so uh, we tend to do stuff in the summer so the buffer's eroded but it's still I've still got them till roughly the end of September so we're okay um, and then obviously I'll, I'll have a lot more time when I get in of an early afternoon um, and she's still at work after I've uh, fed and walked the dog to uh, carry on with the drawing and stuff like that. Uh, in the world of things happening, uh, it's, it's just been a bit fucking depressing, really. Uh, we lost, um, I say we, I weren't looking for him. No, uh, Robin Williams died and so did Joan Rivers. Two great comedians uh, in different ways. Um, but they also had their detractors, especially Joan Rivers with her stupid Gaza talk. But um, it's hard to have a go at someone when they've just died, really. Um, and plus, she did. She's one of the only female comedians that ever made me laugh, like properly laugh. Because a lot of female comedians are either shit or they base all their jokes on you know usual female stuff like, oh, I'm PMSing. Uh, this is funny because I'm mad. Um, whereas she didn't, she was just generally funny about normal topics. Uh, Robin Williams, I was always a big, uh, I was a big, um, what's the word? I was always very anti-suicide. Everyone's anti-suicide, but I mean, I was, I was uh, sort of the sort of person that thought that people who were committing suicide were cowards, and I wouldn't have, I wouldn't hear it if someone committed suicide. It was just, you know, they would. Um, 
betraying their family and they were cowards and taking the easy way out if they were de- but you know depression's a proper illness and I've come to learn there's a lot more to it than that so it was sad to see him do that to himself um, and it's just you know you never know quite what people are going through really even the super famous super funny uh, super wealthy people in the world so that was pretty sad um, and then what else has happened oh uh, and then yeah we had the whole fucking i tell you what when you're a fan of something and you just see other fans of your um, medium just being dickheads it's it's just a massive turn off um, in two ways first off there's the issue over it's, I'm talking about gaming sorry going off on going off on one before I even dealt with the actual subject matter um, talking about gaming so a lot of gamers out there are, are getting on the back of journalists saying that gaming is um the journalists' integrity is off kilter, um, saying that they favour certain things because of money, and they um, that none of them are t- telling the truth. They're all trying to perpetrate this massive fucking conspiracy of journalism, in that they want to tell us what to buy and how to, you know, it's just an absolute load of old fucking shit that a bunch of divs have come up with because they've got nothing better to do with their time or because uh, journalism journalists are slating games that they love and uh, it's just it is, a, it is a massive load of nonsense and they are fucking idiots and it's just such a depressing way for people to be behaving over something that's got so much popularity at the moment like this is the best time to be a gamer um, if you go if you're at school if you're in your school or you know high school, normal like you know uh, primary school, uh, juniors, senior school we call it in England. Um, if you're at that kind of age, when I was that, when I was that age, and it was like, what do you like? Oh, I, I like Mega Drive, and I was like, oh, nerd punch. But now everyone loves fucking gaming, so it's it's the greatest time to be like everyone loves comic book movies, so everyone likes comic books. It's just a great time to be a fan of all these things. But because it's our niche has been taken away, that's another reason. You know, it's, it used to be our little niche, and that was our thing, and that was our escape, and now everyone likes it. It's not ours anymore. So it's like the same people that don't want their band to be successful. They're like, oh, I, I love them when they they fucking play to twenty people in a shitty garage somewhere underneath a fucking bar in a basement. But now that they they're, they're doing arenas, oh, I don't like them anymore. No, they're too commercial. Fucking these people that you loved have got success, and you're fucking berating them for it. You mean old fuck. So it's the same sort of principle. Um, but yeah, so they're saying that the journalists are all fucking biased, and it's a load of all shit because journalists, it's, they're just the same as us. They like what they like, and they don't like what they don't like. And you'll speak to one journalist, and he'll say a game's ten out of ten. You'll speak to another one, and he'll say it's like five out of ten because it's not his type of game. So he's just reviewing it based on the mechanics, and the mechanics don't suit him. You know, it's that's the way it is, and you know that's the way it'll always be. Um, as in, as uh, there'll still be bias, there'll still be opinion because that's what people are like. But there's no conspiracy. There's no big fucking hoo ha over you know how things are being written and what's being promoted above what. And just there is in the industry, I will grant you, there are times when certain websites are given a shitload of money to promote a certain game. There's like, like we'll give you loads if you just you know just say our games are like good but this isn't this we're not talking about like IGN we're not talking about like fucking um, Kotaku we're talking about smaller websites where they're like up and coming and someone said look or YouTube commenters the, the YouTube ones are the worst they're like they'll be like oh fucking I ate everything all these get their arseholes and then that arsehole will come to them and say oh, look come come and meet me and we'll talk it out and then they'll be like oh yeah you're not that bad I like you now um, that is, but they they're not fucking journalists. They've not gone to fucking school, uh, college, and university to you know. They've not got a passion for the fucking craft. 
it's just a load of old fucking nonsense and it drives me mental and it, uh, as an extension to that we had the whole fucking Anita Sarkeesian thing don't get me wrong I don't agree with everything she says okay in case you don't know Anita Sarkeesian is a critique a uh, critique a critic who does a series um, of videos called tropes versus women in video games and it's about common things that occur in lots of video games that demean women and there are plenty and if we're honest we know it um, a lot of even the same same thing in comics you know a lot of the women are swimsuit model types dressed up um, in bikini clad uh, or naked you know this place a massive market for people drawing half naked fucking images of their favorite superhero superheroine and uh just look at fucking jason scott campbell i mean his artwork is fantastic but a lot of his women are just a ridiculous version of a woman um and that was illustrated only recently with that spider woman cover where she's like all ass up in the air it's just nonsense anyway it does happen and there's all that there's plenty of examples of it and she goes through hours and hours of footage hours and hours of gameplay like hundreds of hours of gameplay finding these areas displaying them to people giving people various examples setting out her opinion and what she's observed in a very very professional manner and she makes these videos and um, they are very um, what's the word they are very revealing to how the industry is and how games are and the people that love games i.e um, or have always sorry the the generic people that love games the, the 18 to 30 year old man who's on his own living in his mum's basement type who's got no outlet other than his gaming sees his sees this as his his favourite thing being attacked so he attacks back and some of them do it by jumping on the bandwagon some do it out of misguided loyalty but other people are just stone cold fucking nuts and she's been getting loads of hatred I was not guilty of it but I made a long long comment about it because I agree with it some of it and some of it I disagree with. I'd love to have a discourse with her over it. I'd like to sit, like sit, not not for YouTube or anything, just personally, like to speak with her and say, "This is what I think. Um, this is what I appreciate where, about what you're saying, but this is what I disagree with, and this is why." And um, I'm sure it'd be fucking like an excellent fucking, um, not only an excellent um, conversation, but an excellent eye-opening experience for me. But when I made this long comment I made, it was one of my blog posts under one of my comics, uh, I put, um, I you know, I, I backed up on certain issues and then I said what I disagree with, but then I made the mistake of saying that um, she makes videos called Women vs. Tropes, and I said, and then I went on for about a paragraph on this Women's vs. Tropes and why it shouldn't be called that, and it was only after I'd done that that like the, literally within an hour of it going up someone um, uh, commented back and said you do realize it's called tropes versus women and I and it just it's just how blinkered I was to the point that I was I just completely misread the title to see to think that women versus tropes was like an attack with women against the games when it was it was the actual thing was the other way around it's how games are attacking women so it's eye opening and it is um, it's people just m misunderstanding what she's trying to say and how she's trying to get it across and it's just it's it's so well done it's hard to criticise her as a normal human being let alone do some of the shit that some of the dumb fucking morons out there have done like she was getting proper hate mail like absolutely like, disgusting stuff like people calling her like saying they were going to rape her calling her a cunt like proper evil evil words and then she also got um 
someone uh, tweeted her, her actual address and said that they were coming to kill her. Um, so like, they went to the trouble of finding out where she lived, etc. So that was pretty scary shit for her, I imagine. So it's just too much, man. It's the uh, we're uh, as a gamer, I just it just makes you fucking ill that you, there's people out there that love the same things that you love that are this fucking twisted and stupid and moronic. But I, I know there are morons across the entire. But we just seem to be like juvenile in our community. To, for for someone to get that much hatred, like she's got shitloads of support as well. Don't get me wrong. There's and a lot of famous people coming forward, and a lot of studios and developers are coming forward and saying, "Look, she's right. Even we fucked up on some of the stuff we've done." But there's still fucking idiots out there, and it's the same. It's the same culture I've always made fun of. Like in, if you go back through my ranting monkey videos on the old channel, if you go back through loads of stuff, I was, I'm always making fun of those fucking like the frat boy type, the Xbox. 360 chatting down your microphone while we all playing fucking Ghost Recon or COD or Gears of War you know they it's all the homophobic chat the fucking it's just awful horrid people and um, it's just a shame that we've been show, it's just showing up what fucking juvenile idiotic fucking moronic bunch of idiots some of us are um, the only way to get better is to realise that there is a problem and it's it's only going to be you know videos like what Anita's doing that's going to show us the error it's not just it's not just about the feminism thing it's not just about women in game it's, it's there's a lot of different stuff out there there's a lot of idiots and uh, the internet culture is you know helping keyboard warriors hide behind their fucking screens um, and doing this sort of thing but hopefully there are more sensible people out there and uh, it will only get better when we are uh, as we move you know into further into this because this medium is, is only getting bigger it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and we need to just realise that we're not this tiny little facet of niche culture anymore we're you know big business and we can't get away with all the stupid shit we used to get away with um and i've been guilty of it myself but probably like I could, there's probably a hundred times i could probably sum up where i've said something stupid online or i've done something stupid you go back through some of those ranting monkey videos where i've had a go at people and you can find that i'm um, a little bit sexist or a little bit stupid but um, I'm learning and I'm I'm happy to accept that there are people out there that know a lot more and they've done the research on it so uh, yeah we've all got to learn we've all got to learn a little bit um, I've got about five more minutes of this video and it's all colouring so what I'm probably going to do is draw this to a close um, just go through uh, a few of the things that are coming up for us uh, snap controller, I say us, it's just me um, the comics now are going to run um, gag -a day stuff through until about December which I usually like, just like I usually do and then in December um, I get a nice big storyline so that I can buffer it through so I can get us through Christmas um without you know dropping a dropping a day for the lot of you um the videos hopefully will continue to come um monday tuesday you get um the xcom uh tuesday wednesday thursday you get uh, an i draw you watch and um towards the end of the week thursday friday you get a murdered soul suspect and then after that hopefully the next game will be one of the horror games that are coming out either alien isolation or evil within or something like that and i'll be able to put a picture in picture of me playing it so that you can watch me shit my pants as i'm playing these games because i think that'll be really funny and it'll be really interesting i've also got one other idea that i i think could be the best idea ever 
for a video series. It could be genius, um, and it's just a question of whether or not I can do it. But that, I'm thinking, will probably come in the new year, because it's going to take a lot of organisation, plus I'm going to need a decent video capture device. So, uh, that's the plan, and that's the schedule. I hope you have enjoyed this week's I Draw You Watch uh, whether you're here for the drawing if you've muted all of this or you're not really paying attention to the drawing and you enjoy listening to me rant on about nonsense um, either way I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope to speak to you again next week um, for another I Draw You Watch um, or an intermittent nonsense who knows iPhone 6 is coming out today maybe I'll say something about that anyway have a good rest of the week don't forget to check out Murdered Soul Suspects at the end of the week. And I will see you, hopefully... Well, I'll see you, will I? Come on, I'm recording. I'm an idiot. I'm not going to see anything. Well, I'm not blind, so I'm going to see something. I'm just not going to see you. Okay, waffling. Well, Have a good week, and I'll see you next time. I won't see you. Stop saying it. All right, here's the rest of the thing in Super Fast Forward. Goodbye. <laughs>